cutting across to Meera Kumar first. Uh, you know, ma'am, for somebody who's been the speaker of the Lok Sabha, it's come a full circle, 75 years. Today we celebrate uh, uh, the journey of the Indian Parliament. How do you see it in terms of reflection, uh, celebration or introspection? You see, it, it is certainly a new chapter. But then we have to see that where we are going. Uh, today, our population is the largest in the world. And in that population, the largest number is that of the poor. Now we have a new parliament building. But this building is grand. This building is beautiful. But then it should have the agenda of eliminating poverty and bringing these people out of the poverty, bringing uh, respect to their lives, bringing security to their lives, happiness to their lives. And we, we are still persisting with the caste system. Uh, when are we going to get rid of it? The agenda, a very important agenda of the parliament, when it's shifting to a new building, should be to eliminate the caste system and respect for women. You see? what is happening in Manipur, what is happening in so many other parts of the country towards women. So respect for women is another thing which should be an agenda of the parliament when it shifts to a new building. And uh, uh, Ms. Kumar, you know, it's, how about... many between... it's a multi-religious country. It's a multi-religious country. And in that country, how people should live in res by respecting each other's religion is very important. And this this parliament should represent that. It's very important. The soul of the import of the building is, is this is what it is. This is what right. it should be. Ms. Kumar, you know, you're right in the sense that, you know, it, there needs to be introspection, especially in terms of uh, the sessions we've seen in the recent past, which have been complete washouts. In terms of debate, we've seen uh, possibly uh, of, uh, you know, uh, some of the finest oratory that we've seen on the floor of the House. The level of debate might have maybe fallen a little, uh, got into more of politics. But the sheer fact uh, that what, 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 what now is behind me uh, on what you presided over in one of the houses is going to be relegated as this beautiful CP tinted image which will be recorded in the annals of Indian political history, uh, Ms. Kumar. Uh, what would be your takeaway, your memory of that? Yes, it, is, it has been a long journey. It has been a fruitful journey. We came out of the, uh, of the foreign yoke and uh, I, at this moment I also very respectfully remember our freedom fighters because of whom all this has become possible. So our country got independence and then it had nothing at that time, we had nothing. And uh, how we have uh, built our nation should be remembered, how we have built our nation, nation building. That was, that was very challenging. This is what was undertaken in the initial years in the, in the first few decades of this country's journey towards uh, its uh, its goal of having socio-economic equality. Ms. Kumar, you know, uh, where speakers are concerned, you had an inimitable style. And uh, if you allow me, you know, um, you know, th th no way uh, is anyone making fun. But it's gone down as something that everyone remembers, where, uh, you know, a very composed Mira Kumar would uh, tell a raccoon's house, Bet jaye, bet jaye. If you allow me, I'm going to play that once and I'm going to come back to you because, you know, uh, you've been featured in many uh, uh, memes. You've been part of popular culture in terms of, uh, uh, you know, uh, that real, that w what you used to say in Parliament has actually been remixed into various songs right now in terms of popular culture. I just want to play it for you and I want to come right back, man. <laughs> Ms. Kumar, you know, that uh, 
बैट जाइए व्हाट यू वुड से मेनी ऑफ आवर व्यूअर्स हु पॉसिबली डिड वॉच पार्लियामेंट्री प्रोसीडिंग्स स्टिल नो ऑफ दैट एंड इट्स अ फैबुलस वे टू लुक एट इट बिकॉज पीपल स्टिल रिकॉल यू बीइंग अ वेरी काम कंपोज्ड स्पीकर वेयर रेप्रिमांडिंग द हाउस वुड कम इन एज अ बैट जाइए वो आई आई एंजॉय इट because i always said bad jaiye after all you have come here not to stand the people have not sent you to stand and then we have so many seats here so you have come here to sit not to stand <laughs> no i i enjoy it i'm glad i'm glad you see you know I, i was a little nervous asking you that question but i'm glad i'm glad you see the fun side of it any personal memories miss meera kumar because then we're going to you know we're going to thank you thank you for joining us but any personal memories of your stint as the first woman lok sabha speaker any personal moment personal moment is that i always ordered lots and lots of rasgullas and i uh, whenever uh, the, my honorable members came to my office i first offered them rasgulla and then i said then you now you tell me what is what you want me to do but first eat the rasgulla and you know rasgulla is a, a, has a lot of power it can uh, calm down a person well i can't agree more uh, uh, thank you rasgulla can solve a lot of things let's uh, see if any of the current speakers have taken that as a tip appreciate you joining us ma'am thank you there let's cut across to our political panelists this evening rajdeep sardesai for someone who's covered many seasons of indian parliament uh, where do you see it stand 75 years now the journey of parliament uh, introspection celebration reflection Preeti I think that's a very good question uh, I do believe that we are on the crossroads or the intersection of celebration and introspection yes you can celebrate the fact that you're moving to a new parliament building tomorrow after all these years having been spent uh, in this particular building that has huge historical significance stretching back to the constituent assembly debates of the 1940s Uh, but it is also a time of introspection for parliament as an institution remember preeti this 17th lok sabha has seen the least number of parliament sittings uh, at the start of the fifth year of this lok sabha parliament had met just 231 times that's an average of about 56 to 58 times a year the lowest ever of course this uh, includes the covid year when parliament met for just about 20 times but either way the number of sittings have significantly reduced the number of bills passed without discussion have significantly reduced the number of uh, bills that are sent to select committees standing committees of parliament have reduced the number of ordinances that are brought in without consultation with parliament have increased the amount of time wasted during question hour has increased the number of questions have reduced the number of adjournments have increased all of this i think suggests that parliament is facing a serious crisis uh, a crisis of uh, of the institution and its uh, ability to be seen uh, for what it was meant to be as our primary legislation making body uh, with equal space being given in a way to both the government and the opposition in recent times we've even seen the treasury benches almost unprecedented disrupting parliament so it's not just the opposition even government benches have disrupted parliament in recent times you'll recall over rahul gandhi's comments for example earlier this year on the adani question so this is a time for both sides across the aisle government and opposition to really introspect and ask themselves why did they become parliamentarians and what useful purpose is parliament really uh, providing at the moment Javed I want to bring you in on this for somebody who's had uh, possibly the maximum experience of at least who I know who've seen so many seasons of parliament uh, and have the privilege to cover so many governments in parliament um, in terms of speeches in terms of watershed moments uh, what uh, do you remember well many parliament has had its highs and lows and I've been fortunate to have been present there for the last 40, close to 40 years well Dr Manmohan Singh's opening sp- Dr Manmohan Singh speech when he opened up the economy when he presented the budget the tumultuous debates in parliament in the lead up to and after the demolition of the 
of Babri Masjid, the December 17, 1991 debate, the stellar performance put up by Mr. Chandrasekhar and Nitish Kumar, uh, Mr. Atal Bihari Baspa, I, I, I was also witness present in the house when in response to India's atomic explosion, Pakistan reciprocated with five explosions. The house was in session and there was a bit of, of commotion. And then the senior leaders got together, they, they trooped out of the house, house continued functioning and they decided it will not adjourn. It sat for 45 extra minutes just to show, send a message to the world, particularly to our adversaries across the border that we are not shaken, it's business as, as usual. So I've seen parliament at loggerheads. I've seen how parliamentarians have come together and just to lighten the mood, there was a, uh, I'll recall Mr. Jaipal Reddy, he made this remark in parliament saying that it's a humongous lie and the BJP was in power and they, and they were up in, uh, there was a huge uproar. So after the house was adjourned and it met, Prime Minister Vajpai says, Bhai, aap aisi angrezi bola kijiye jo sabko samaj mein hai. And iska matlab kya hota hai, explain. And there was Renuka Chaudhary. She walked up and right. good uh, nice humor. She pointed to her hips and said, humongous is me. This is humongous. And that's how they diffused a very tense situation. I've witnessed parliament when right. it's been adjusted. I've witnessed parliament when parliamentarians have come together. It's been accommodative. It's been in inclusive. So I do believe it's all very well to name former prime ministers. It's also important to imbibe some of the things that we stood for and to give premise, to restore to parliament the primacy right. once enjoyed right. in the eyes of prime ministers. Right. Manisha Priyam, your biggest takeaways as we hand over, uh, you know, the old to the new. Uh, so I do remember now uh, what is the old building, the museum building of the parliament uh, very fondly, very deep memories attached pers at a personal level also. But I do think a few very important moments that were watershed moments. Remember prior to the emergency when Indira Gandhi was usurping power and there's a ding-dong battle between the parliament and the judiciary, the basic structure doctrine putting in place what the parliament could enact and what it could do and that kind of laid the way between a balanced role between the parliament and the judiciary but then post 77 you had a new government coming in power the congress very wary of those who came into power then led by Moraji Desai but soon power was such a glue that it could not bind the disparate political parties that had come in and Indira Gandhi came back with a majority so, uh, you know, right. uh, you heard in, in Chik Manglur, uh, you know, the cries of her being a Sherni, she fought back and came back to power. Once again, the VP Singh moment when the Congress's right. own majority was ruptured by someone who broke ranks and a new government that comes to power. Right. But the moments that I remember the most was the no confidence right. motion against a weak Marsimba Rao government and how Govind Charan Munda's lone vote save that government from falling and of course i would agree with meera kumar on a personal right. note my mother was you know, there a member Shabriya, of parliament gonna... the rasgulla right. tasted really nice and that's something right. i will remember <laughs> all right on that note on that note i'm going to close the show we're terribly out of time appreciate you all for joining us